Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics and today I'm working on some cryptocurrency mining rigs. I have uh, the computer opened up right now and I'm working on this here. I'm trying to get all my machines back up and running because crypto's coming back. There's uh, four out of five cards running on this rig. Unfortunately, um, I have little tiny 32 gig hard drives and Windows is getting too large for the hard drives. So I think I need to get larger hard drives because of all the um, Windows updates and I cannot create page files large enough to run more than four graphic cards on this computer right now. So I got to order some more hard drives, but got that one going. Everything's I'm blowing the dust off and getting them fired up, getting ready, because we got some solar panels coming and cryptocurrency is up. And I happen to be getting a lot of shares on this one. Very, very good. I'm mining a, a tiny, cheap little penny coin that's not worth much. Um, and I'm trying to mine a bunch of it. And then I'll save them to see if they come up in value, if they're worth anything. If you hear any distracting noises, that's my little daughter running around pretending to be making a cake. Now over here I've got my old faithful, which is no longer so faithful. Um, his hard drive died, and um, so I've got to get another hard drive for this. I was trying to troubleshoot it. I had a uh, strange error code freezing on the screen at boot up, or at BIOS, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Finally, I found out it was the hard drive, but the um, I bought cheap hard drives, the um, solid state hard drives, and the only one I have spare is dead. So I've got to buy a new hard drive for this guy, and then he'll be running again. So that's my original four card mining rig, my first four uh, 1050 GTX 1050s that I ever had sitting right here. So I'll get him put back together and running. Uh, I'll have to get on Amazon and order a, uh, a new hard drive, a larger hard drive, because 32 gigs is no longer big enough. Now over here I've got a hacked up rig. Um, when I shut down my mining operation last year, a little over a year ago, I sent people their graphic cards and uh, I sent them back to the people and they ran them. They're running them themselves, hopefully. So I trained people how to mine for themselves and I hooked people up some of them who wanted I hooked, actually hooked them up with computers to mine for their own selves at home so that was cool but that left me with all these um, hacked up partial completed mining rig frames and this one as well is missing a hard drive because my cheap dirt cheap hard drives died on me so don't buy cheap when you're buying the um, the RAM and the hard drives. I had a RAM that died and I had some hard drives that died. The cheap brand new solid state 32 gig hard drives are failing on me and also now they're too small anyway for for Windows. So um, I'm working on computers here. There's my DIY tube banner and getting them ready here to take home because I work here all day long at the office and then I'll be taking these home to run on off-grid solar power when I get set up. This is running rock solid and stable for a couple hours now on four cards. I do believe it's the page file that's not allowing me to expand any further because when I put another card in it gives me um, memory errors so that's got to be the issue. Anyway that's what I'm doing today, working on all these computers, trying to get the rigs going and uh, piece them together. When those solar panels arrive next week, I plan on putting stuff together hot and heavy and getting these computers running on off-grid solar power. So I am, uh, I am setting up a off-grid solar powered mining farm, a cryptocurrency mining farm at the off-grid homestead. So this is going to be exciting. Now down here I've got the Arduinos I've got all of my Arduinos kits I've got 
two books and two different kits and three Arduinos set up. And at the same time I'm setting up mining rigs, I'm working over here on the Arduino. Forgive my office because I'm just working on multitasking here. I've got two keyboards, two mice, another computer here that I'm going to be running this on. So I've got my office computer, my mining rig I'm working on, and then the uh, computer, my uh, my good old faithful now um, Linux machine that I'm going to be running the Arduino on. And what I'm setting up here, Michelle, please, are you trying to get through? Excuse me. Okay, go on through. All right, now what I'm setting up here is a LCD display. And once I get it working, I'm going by a book to set it up uh, according to a project. Once I get it working, then I'm going to convert it to my purpose, which is going to be a voltmeter. So I'm going to set this up to read in the voltage of my battery bank, my solar powered battery bank. And then from there, I'm going to further expand it to start so I can turn on and off computers at will so as the voltage of the battery bank goes up or down I'll be able to turn on and off mining rigs using my little Arduino to uh, start mining automatically so as the sun starts going up in the sky I start turning on more mining rigs using my little Arduino automatically fully automatically um, using a a voltmeter that I'm going to build here and then as the sun gets set towards peak I'll be running as many mining rigs as I can based on how much solar power I have available and as the sun further sets in the sky we start shutting down mining rigs as we start running out of uh, available solar power and then at night we're going to kill everything so I'm also going to have a light dark sensor a day night sensor um, voltage meter and um, the ability to turn on and off computers. Now for safety and security, I also am going to build a set of alarms. So I'm going to, I have ultrasonic tra transducers coming in the mail. When they arrive, they're going to be hooked up to this little guy as well, and he's going to check for uh, intrusion in and around where the computers are going to be running. So this little guy is going to run security, and fully automation, full automation of my cryptocurrency mining farm, my solar powered cryptocurrency mining farm. So I hope you like this video guys and I hope you like what's going on and what we got planned. This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics. Some exciting stuff coming up. Building a fully automated and secure solar powered cryptocurrency mining farm controlled by this little guy right here, the Arduino Uno microcontroller. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos, because I'm going to be doing this whole series on, uh, on the videos. When I figure out what I'm doing here, I'll share with you every step of the way. Talk to you later.